Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1017. Guys, if you follow along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewilddog.com. Check out all of our full length videos, that's where we house them. We started talking about partner stretching yesterday and showed you a way to increase internal rotation into the shoulder. Today what we're doing is we're talking about how we want to be able to increase hip extension. You know, so many of us get tightness into these anterior hips because squat dominant, hip flexion dominant, sagittal plane dominant movements um, are all within CrossFit, okay? So one of the ways that we get to loosen ourselves up here with the partner is by getting ourselves into hip extension and full knee flexion, okay? Now, um, Moth here, he has the, the greatest hip extension, so it's not gonna look that difficult with him, but for most of you it will, okay? So we're trying to get hip extension here. The easiest way with the partner is to literally lift up the leg and you're gonna slide your knee under. You can slide it under however far you have to, right? So if you have to get a lot of knee or hip extension, you slide far in. If not, you're just gonna just get him into that hip extension. And what's gonna happen, I'll show you on this side, what's gonna happen as you do that, it's gonna lift that hip up. See how his hip comes off the mat just a little bit there? That's what we're doing. So I prop him up into that extended position and then I'm gonna take my elbow and I'm just gonna push down onto his hip, all right? Because I wanna be able to stabilize the hip. If not, what happens is as I start to put the knee into flexion, it just puts a lot of tension into the back, okay? So what I wanna do is eliminate that tension in the back and I'm gonna put my elbow across his belt line like such. And then as the partner, I can go ahead and start applying a stretch with knee flexion. Now, of course, I'm just trying to hit a soft barrier, and once I do, I can have my partner just give me a little kick, just, yeah. just a little bit. Just, yeah, just a little bit of pressure. About five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in, deep breath out, and as he breathes out, just relax, relax everything. Cool? And I'm gonna find the next barrier, and I would repeat this for three cycles until I went to the opposite hip, right? So, big take home points, though is we want to elevate the knee to get the hip into complete extension and then we want to support the hip so we can eliminate any excess strain on the back. Cool? Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it, brother. And uh, guys, questions, comments, please post them below. Until tomorrow, we're Optimizing Function to optimize performance.